Welcome back to our JMVM TV channels. Uh, we're gonna talk about today our childhood, Korea versus Finland. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> First, let's talk about daily school life. Alright. Yeah. I heard that Koreans are very competitive and they study a lot. So when you were in the middle school, yeah. how many hours did you study per day? We usually go by 8 o'clock, I think. Okay. And then we finish like 4 p.m. Four. Yes. And in the high school, for example, we went to the school by 7.30. And then it finished 4 or 4.35 and then after that we had to eat our dinner and from 6.30 or 7 we continue to study in the school until like 10 o'clock. So from 7.30 until 10 o'clock in the evening, that's 14 hours and 30 yes, minutes. when I was a student, yes. That but is insane. Just disgusting. <laughs> what about you? It depends. Depends. If I went to school in the first place, but six to seven hours. Uh -huh. Max, max, max seven hours. Actually, the seven hours should include making homework. Oh, making homework as well. Okay. Yes. Even in high school. High school, maybe a little bit more. Not much. Okay. Six to seven hours at the school. Okay. okay. What kind of exams did you have? We have mostly multiple choice and some short essay. Like, Is, can the entire exam be just like multiple choice questions? Oh, uh, mostly multiple choice, but we also have these like a short answer form, not the like a real essay essay. But yeah, sometimes we also have some essay, but it has to be more like just three or three to five sentences. But mostly just one word or one or two sentences something like that really like short answer that's pretty simple is it and oh. then what about in finland we usually don't have multiple choice questions but the okay exam is maybe four or five different sections there mm -hmm. can be a short multiple choice question mm -hmm. section first like five questions mm -hmm. three to four options for each Okay. But after that, all different kind of open-ended questions and uh, essays, a lot of mm -hmm. essays. Okay, so it, it's more like kind of respect the student's opinion and what they learned. Like, <laughs> it's like that. No, no, the idea is to test that you actually know that. Understand. Yeah. Like, properly understand. Yeah. And that. Uh -huh. Well, multiple choice questions, let's say that if you're good at guessing, yeah. you can get a high score. But it doesn't really test that if you learn something, you might know the answer, but you know nothing else than the answer. Yeah. For example, sometimes we have the time limitation, but then we have to solve all the problem. Yeah. But then it happens in the school like, okay, like I'm gonna choose only number three, or like one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Great strategy. Yeah. What kind of food do you have in the school? Food. That's the hot topic here. Everybody hates the school food. Oh, okay. It depends. In Korea, we have a lot of different menu. Even in the school? Yes. It was like sometimes we waiting for oh please Wednesday or Friday comes. You know, then we have some, some kind of like a special food for kids. Sounds very nice. <laughs> Commonly here, people think that the school food is the first food. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can be healthy, but it has no taste. But Lucky that it's free. Oh, free. Okay, yeah. that's really different. We have to pay for our lunch. You said that before when we begin this talking, yeah. Korean really competitive in the school. 
So yes, for example, like a lot of parents push their kids to go to the uh, extra like academy to learn more like mathematics or English or you know to review and preview. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the parents actually care a lot about the studies. Yes, most of the parents was like that because, um, but. Mm, Thanks God, like luckily my parents was not like that, so I had a lot of freedom. <laughs> but at the same time, in Korea, a lot of parents, they're working. Yep. So for example, like elementary school students, they also go to the, um, the academy because even though they finish the school and they can come back to home, anyway, they're going to be alone. So it would be much better to learn something and at the same time can be with the friends for a while. So maybe in that sense, some people also send their kids, but mostly, yeah, more like a better education, be better in the school. Maybe that's why. It's really basically you're asking that are the parents that demanding here? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, like, yeah, like, is it also? mostly no? Kids should be doing something else than just studying. Of course, it's good if they do well in the school, mm. but it's not everything in everything. I think mm. some parents are can be pushing with the studies, but nobody ever takes any kind of like extra classes after that. I mean, after school, that is just yeah. like that time is preserved <laughs> for hobbies or having um. fun with friends. Then, like cost of studying, like. It will be cheap or like expensive in Finland. What What do you think? Uh, cheap. Cheap. Elementary school free of charge, mm. including the books. Mm. High school free of charge, but you have to get your own books. Mm. So maybe for the three years you will be spending one and a half to two thousand mm. for the textbook. Yeah. Okay. Then university, again, free of charge. Well, all the material is also available online. Uh -huh. But, of course, when you go to university, you are not living at your parents' place. So you are usually moving to some other mm -hmm. city. What about the vacation then? Uh, how many days do you have usually? For example, like summer vacation or winter vacation? Well, we have three main holidays. Yeah. Of course, summer holiday is the most important ones. Mm. Ten complete weeks of freedom. Like, tell me again. Ten weeks. Ten weeks. From the beginning of June to mid of June. July. Mid of July, okay. Then in the winter time, Around the Christmas, we usually have two weeks of vacation. Yeah. And then a winter holiday in February for one week. In Korea, also, we have um, summer vacation yep. and winter vacation yep. and spring vacation. What are you sort of doing during the vacations? Uh, when we're in elementary school, having fun, fun. But mostly, they go to also the academy to prepare the next semester. Right. <coughs> Isn't it? purpose of holiday is to kind of disconnect and <laughs> yeah, you know, enjoy it... from the rest of the things that you cannot do during the... We're mostly doing nothing. Nothing. Okay, people have hobbies. Some people go to some kind of summer camps. Yeah. But I, I usually enjoy the freedom. Anyway, parents also have quite long summer vacations, almost one month. Okay. So there's a lot to do with them. Then when we grow a little bit older, mm -hmm. 15, 16, mm -hmm. the hardest topic is that if you have managed to get some kind of job for the summer mm -hmm. so that you can earn some pocket money. It's just like a summer job. Summer job. Yeah. Temporary job for one to three months. Okay. You usually work 40 hours a week, get the standard pay. And the idea is exactly that you pocket some money. Okay. You don't go to do that to get experience. The important thing is that you get some kind of job. It doesn't matter if you're at the grocery to fill up the shelves, mm. but it's that, that you make some money for yourself. And that's, that's how you also buy a little bit more freedom to yourself. Okay, then why being a kid in Korea would be better? 
Well, I think there is one great advantage, mm -hmm. and that's that if you do your schools well, mm -hmm. and uh, especially in the high school to university stage, mm -hmm. top Korean universities are a bit more respected than Finnish universities. The people who you will get to know there are a little bit more important than the people in Finnish top universities. You see, mm -hmm. we are quite small country, quite small market, mm -hmm. but you can build up very valuable connections in Korea. Mm -hmm. But this That's is just good. from the economic or career driven point of view. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your Finnish contacts do not matter outside of Finland. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Most of the time, no. Uh huh. Interesting. How's that then? If you would have been a kid in Finland, what kind of advantage could you see from that? Uh, more freedom. Um, for example, anyway, we had to stay in the school for a longer time, so we don't have our own time. And mostly we kind of like being forced education system. Everybody has the same goals. That's why it's really competitive. How often do people get to think that what do they actually want to do? We don't have any time to think ourselves. So mostly I think a lot of Koreans have the similar goals, similar dreams somehow. It's like that. So we don't we don't think about ourselves, what I want, who am I? But I think it's really important to think when they're young already. But we don't have time to think. That is just... Yeah, because we have to go forward. Okay. So I think in that sense, maybe more freedom, more respect their students' opinion. Mm. That's really good thing, in my opinion, as a student, as a kid. Alright. Yep. I think we're done here. <laughs> What about your um, school life in your country? Please let us know that what kind of experiences you have had as a kid and if that's been somewhat different from what we just shared with you. Bye! So bye, -bye.